Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to How Time Flies, the uh, video newsletter for the High Plains Western Heritage Center here in Spearfish, South Dakota. I'm Brian Leslie, as always, joined by the executive director here at High Plains, Carlos Scovell. Carla, good, good to see morning, you Brian. again. And uh, boy, How Time Flies is appropriately named because I'm just thinking September couldn't already be here. That's just amazing. Where did August go? <laughs> I know. It, it's behind us, but it, it is hard to imagine yeah. that we're here in September already. So let's do a little recap of August, some of the things that happened, and I know that you you had some help from Donovan this past uh, week or so. Yeah, Donovan Construction came out with their cherry picker and helped us repair our Wyoming flagpole. Uh, Skip Johnson, one of our volunteers, is a former pilot. And he's not afraid of heights, <laughs> so he got up in there and it's been a, um, down, I guess, for several weeks now. So we're really thankful to them for helping us get that repaired. That's not an easy task. Not at um, all. Yeah. And then earlier in the month, uh, the public version of the uh, Cowboy Supper Show wrapped up with uh, Dallas Sellers and Gordy Pratt, or as they, Gordy likes to say, Gordy Pratt and Dallas Sellers. And that was a big success, and I know they did other shows for some of the tour groups that came in too, and that's probably going to be back again for next summer. It is, yes. We'll be doing more, more shows for a longer period of time. We'll be looking forward to that. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yep, and also uh, this past week, you had a nice group in from the Quinonia Tours. We did. We wrapped up August, um, I guess you could say, with yeah. that beautiful yellow bus that came pulling in oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they were just a nice group of people. And we utilized them as witnesses and drew the winner of the Mick Harrison painting. That's right. Yeah, Mick drew his, the winner, and it turned out to be Courtney Van Zanden from Colton, South Dakota. Wow, and I believe she, if I remember what you said, she was here for the uh, American Legion convention. She was, yeah. Bought a ticket that night, and she is one happy lady. <laughs> very, very excited. <laughs> well, September is about to begin. What do we have uh, looking forward into September? Well, September 20th, we start our High Plains Live series again with Carrie Grombacher and Aspen Black. So we're looking forward to that. Yep. That's on a Thursday night, and then um, future events will probably be on Sundays. But we also have a Sunday, October 21st then, um, with Kim Plender and the Buffalo Grass Band, and, and we have more plans for November and December. All right. As far as with Carrie and Aspen, if you like uh, traditional um, folk slash country music, uh, you'll really enjoy their uh, their style. They're kind of an, uh, a traditional older type of cowboy music and country music. So stuff that you don't often hear, but it's uh, very, very uh, engaging and, and it's fun to listen to. And they're a very entertaining duo. And some good things coming up with High Plains Live. In November, we're getting a, a double dose of the Potter family. Tell us how that's happened. Well, on November 11th, of course, is Veterans Day and, and a day that we have had an annual event. We're going to continue that and honor our veterans. And the Potter family will be back for their USO musical that day. And then on November 30th, they'll be back for their uh, Christmas show as a family. So that'll be an ex extra special event for us that night. Yeah, so call and get your reservations <laughs> early. Seating will be limited for that. Anything else? Boy, not that I can think of, but if that's not enough, stay tuned. We'll see you back in October. We'll find some more things to talk about. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you here at the High Plains Western Heritage Center.